Hello crafters and welcome to P2P Crafts online show brought to you by From Picture to Page and Beyond Paper Crafts Show, our scrapbooking, mixed media and paper craft community. I'm your host, Wendy Stewart, and I'm absolutely delighted to be here for another session of this incredible show. I'm so excited to be joining you today. P2P Crafts Online show brings you over 30 demonstrations with our guest artists and our retailers. For all the details, please go to our website from picture to page and beyond.com.au where you can get all the up-to-date information about the show, links to our sponsors and our guests. Now, while you're there, make sure you join our email list so you can be first to hear all about all the updates for the show, upcoming events, plus get links to all the replays. We don't want you to miss a thing. Now, big special thanks to our two major sponsors, Darkroom Door and Uniquely Creative. Darkroom Door is located on the central coast of New South Wales. They are a family owned and operated business and believe in supporting independent craft stores. They create unique rubber stamps and stencils and through their blog, videos and workshops, Darkroom Door inspires stampers and artists worldwide. And Uniquely Creative are passionate about making beautiful stamps, dies and embellishments. Through their Creative Kit Club, they specialize in creating kits with matching papers and products, so it's easy to create your projects at home. And we are deeply grateful to both of them, so please go and check them out. Now, whether you're watching live here on Facebook, like Kerry O'Toole and Lynn Knight, Lois Payne, Diana Kimberly, and many, many others, please pop into the comments, say hello, give us some likes, give us some loves. If you're watching a replay, please, as well, leave a comment or on YouTube, please comment, let us know you're there. Any questions, pop them in the comments. We will get them answered during the session or straight after. I'm super excited because I now get to introduce Natalie from Little Bits. So let's get started and let's get her on screen. Hi, Natalie. Hello. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Very good. Very excited to be here and hosting this session with you. I know. It's super exciting, isn't it? So Natalie, for those who are watching that may not know about Little Bits, would you please share a little bit about this amazing shop that has been part of my life for a long, long time in Melbourne? Well, we are in Keysborough. We're in um, Kirkham Road West in Keysborough. We have just celebrated our 21st birthday. That's incredible. Also, the 4th of October, we celebrated that. So it's pretty exciting. It's pretty cool. Um, we're a little, so we, we've gone through the flow, we've been there for donkeys, isn't it really? Um, we are quite a small little shop, but we fit a lot in. It's, um, yeah, lots of little nooks and crannies to discover and um, go searching for whatever. And quite often a lot of clients come in and go, oh, you know, that's what I love. I just have loving getting in and having a good dig through and trying and finding all those little hidden treasures. It really is incredible. It's good fun. Um, so Leslie, um, as we all know, Leslie yes. is the owner, she's the queen of glitter. Yes. I've been working for her on and off for I really don't know, but quite um quite a few years. Recently I've been like the Saturday girl for Okay. Probably uh, six seven years now but I've worked with her and I've worked at the shows for a long long time so yes and I've, uh, I've been lucky enough to catch some of your videos you've done showing us around the shop and all the goodies and you are hilarious I just love your style and I'm so looking forward to this demo today Nat as I said to you anything's possible with you and I today it's like you know it's having fun with what we do and you know we can be serious about our work but not serious about ourselves oh and gosh no no gosh no never take never take yourself seriously seriously so natalie what have you got to show for us today what are you going to treat us to today we are going to change some clear christmas baubles into some beautiful keepsake hand me down christmas ornaments that we can easily um just yeah oh, and now wow she, look at that that's just some of them that beautiful that's just one of them fantastic but i'll show you what we can do like because i'll show the different types because we can um change that change what we put on the inside yes that brings 
colour on the outside. Fantastic. So I'm uh-huh. going to give you a moment to swap your camera over and get ready to dazzle us with those beautiful things you've got in front of you. I'll be back in a moment, Natalie. How exciting is that? Don't those bubbles look fantastic? I think Natalie's going to use some alcohol inks. I think so. So she's going to just swap her camera over and get ready. Little Bits has been part of my life for the longest time. I remember meeting Leslie at Picture to Page many, many, many years ago and walking into their shop and just being mesmerized, not knowing where to look, how to start. I didn't know one end of a stamp pad from the other and Leslie very kindly guided me through. I did my first lot of stamping classes with her and I've never looked back. It's a great store, so please check them out online. And a little bird told me that Leslie's in the store right now so if you want to just order anything go and check out their website you can ring her and they've got just about everything you would ever need for stamping or card making and so many things you can use for scrapbooking art journaling mixed media everything so natalie just give me a thumbs up when you're ready and i'll swap the camera over wonderful so let's enjoy this amazing demo with natalie all yours natalie go for it so these are the christmas baubles that we're going to do now these two blue ones here oh gorgeous i'm using they're exactly the same color they're exactly the difference is this one is clear yes and this one i've put white paint on it in it oh which okay great this is the one that i showed you before yes which has the white paint beautiful and then this one is my favorite oh that is spectacular so this one is basically, as I said, like a pearl sort of look and it's got black paint on the inside. Okay. Wonderful. So move those out of the way. So this is just a glass mat sort of thing. I don't have a Tim Holtz mat, but Leslie can get those, not a problem. Right. You to use these. So these are, sorry for the noise, half Christmas Baubles. They're a great okay. size too, Nat. They're a really good size. Yep, they're a really good size. Um, with the clear ones, you could easily put like those little fairy light types of things. Oh, or of course, yes. Like the, you know the stuff that we throw onto the Christmas tree that's not actually like tinsel, but it's the strips? Yes, yes. You could easily go in there with a couple of little um, remote little I don't know, little lights sort of thing. You yes, can get little ones. Absolutely. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, they would look spectacular. But that would be really cool. But it totally changes the look, be having the white on the inside and having the clear. Depending on what you were after. So the same with this one. This one's got the white on the inside. For sure. But the black. So you can do this with the solid ones that are all in one. Okay. But it's a lot harder because what you need to do is you have your water, your paint, put a little bit of water in it to make it flow, and you've literally got to move it around and twist it around. Understand, yes. And then put it in a, a cup of some sort of thing to let it sit there and drain. Right, yes. And it's quite longer. So these are really, really good that they're nice and easy. I think that'd be and a lot easier to you work just with too, the... Nat. Definitely, yeah. definitely. And then what you do is once it's all you've painted on the inside and it's dried, all you have to do is put them together like that. And don't stress about, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but don't stress about that your paint is not like crystal like opaque sort of thing like perfect understand no, we can see we can see clearly you understand exactly what you're saying it's you're not going to see it by the time you put the alcohol inks and everything on you're not going to see for sure it. now you could do the alcohol inks with just on the halves okay but i like to put them together this just screws on and then you've got a handle Brilliant. So it's it's easy, you know what I mean? Totally. So what I've got, I'm going to use the Couture Creations alcohol inks. So this one that I'm going to do now. Yes. Use fossil. 
Mochaccino, now they've changed their names. So Mushroom is was Fossil, is now Fossil. Espresso is a Mochaccino. Okay. Dandelion is Marigold. Okay. And we've got one more, which is the Pearl Gold. Oh, beautiful. The one thing you need to remember with the glitters, so this was used on the black as well. Yes. They both have a ball. So you need to give it a really long shake. I've been shaking this one off camera. Sure. Just to mix it up. And the great thing about the glitter is that it will, it doesn't, it flows with it. It doesn't drop and then just sit there. Okay. <laughs> doesn't drop and just sit there sort of thing like that one. Yes. It Okay. So they the glitter ones, I really love them. Honestly, I think they're just great. And especially, so, especially for Christmas time, oh, they would be fantastic. Oh, yeah. It's just I just decided I wanted to see what happens with the black. Um, the glitter just pops up every now and then. Brilliant. On the, I don't know if you see that, but it pops up every now and then on the um, the black. Yeah, the light's catching it beautifully so we can see it now. No problem at all. Of course. So we've got the Couture Creations. Um, did I say that these are $4.50? For the pack of the two. For two, two $4.50. Dollars. Great. Thank you. Okay. We've got the alcohol blending solution. Yes. Again, by Couture Creations. But what I do is I find this a little bit white. Okay. So what I do is I put it into these little bottles. Oh, I love those bottles. I have so I many from, from Little Bits. Yep. So there's two different sizes. There's smaller ones. I can't think of how small they are, but they're smaller ones. They are two for two dollars. So really easy, you know, price point. Yes. These ones are slightly bigger, which we don't have in stock quite at the moment. But Leslie has the two two dollar ones. Sure. These ones are two for three fifty. That's brilliant. Pretty good price. So what? So our Tim Holtz with a feathery. Not a feather, a felt applicator. Yes. And you can do this a couple of different ways. I've put, I'm going to start off with the normal colours first. All right, yep. More curly. You could add it on straight. Yes. If you really wanted to. And don't worry about that moving. Put a little bit of that and move it around. But what I will do... Let's put that lid down. Put a couple of drops here. We've got the fossil. Marigold. Beautiful. What I might even do is put the gold on there already. I'll put a bit of this, but I'll put a tiny bit more. Sure. And, and you're really you... not using a lot, Nat. Nope. Now, you could swipe it on, but these colours are pretty light. So it's going to start out very light to start with. Understand. Yes, understand. But it's better to go lighter and then add more colour rather than having something that you are not happy with and it's too dark. Absolutely. You can use a blending solution to, um, you know, it sort of takes off some of that colour. But if you go slow, it doesn't matter. That's already looking so effective and I know you've only just started. So I hold it down by the – you will get your hands dirty because it's a fact of life. Well, but if you're not getting roughly, your hands dirty, are you really having fun? No, nah, that's it. It's a sign of a good craft time. And you're getting a lovely comment that how organised you are that you even have swatches on top of your bottles there, Natalie. <laughs> well, I, my friends do know that I'm a little bit particular – but I would rather spend that little bit of extra time. Yes. And have these, have 
them all sort of organized and set up that I can just go, oh, that's whatever. Yes. Oh, that's whatever. Yes. Rather than later on. Got it. Yeah, and Debbie Ross wants you to come to her house and help her get organized too, just FYI. <laughs> Oh, as long as she feeds me a nice steak sandwich or something, oh, that's there all There right. you go. There you go. <laughs> so that's a pretty, like you've got the flicks of the gold all through it. That is just gorgeous. I know you haven't done a lot to it, but look how effective that is. And who doesn't love sparkly bits? We all got to love our little sparkly bits, tell you. Oh, you know me. I'm all about the bling and the sparkle, Nat. <sighs> See, adding some more gold. Oh, yes. Look at that. Wow. And just like on Yupo, it will move a little bit. Okay, yes. Okay. You okay. see that it sort of, you know, it branches, it starts in one spot and then sure. sort of sure. molds and melting together. There's a lot of love coming for your project, Nat. Awesome. Uh, it's so much fun to just because there's you've got to let go of the control totally and I am a bit of a, a <laughs> I hear yeah, you loud and clear <laughs> so you know it's even like with watercolor because you can actually watercolor with um, alcohol inks okay I'm yet to perfect it <laughs> okay good but job we look forward I, to a live when you manage to do that sometime <laughs> oh my gosh that will be fun, won't it? Totally. Nat, there was just a question as to what paint you used on the inside of the baubles, please, or to start with. Was it white acrylic or? Yeah, white acrylic. White acrylic, black. yeah. Could black. you could you use black. gesso? Yes. There you could you easily use gesso. I hope, I hope that answered your question. Uh, sorry, who asked that question? I'm so sorry. There you go, Joanne Hughes. I hope that answered your question. If you have any more, just please pop them in the comments and Nat and I will attempt to answer them or Nat will go back after the session and answer any questions you may have. Absolutely. So uh, if you want that yeah. little bit more gold. Yes. That little bit more. I sort of want to call it like a marbling sort of. It does, it does look like a very marbled effect actually. And then when you're happy, you can just put it down to dry because it does dry, alcohol inks dry pretty quickly. Awesome. And how long do you reckon you would leave them to dry, please? On it, Honestly, I mean, depending on how much you put on it, but even then these ones are only going to take a couple of minutes to dry. They're not. Oh, brilliant. They're not like, you know, half an hour for or anything sure, like that. For sure, for sure, yeah. I think I'm pretty happy with that. Oh, that looks fantastic. You're most welcome, so Joanne Hughes. And yes, Kerry O'Toole, you will see my purple ones. Don't you worry. <laughs> so I've just got these little... Um, they Honestly, cute. I bought these many, many moons ago sort of thing. And I'm just going to pop him in there. Yeah, I think I've got some of those Jamie Oliver um, little bowls that you've got that you're sitting it in. Yeah. Oh, they're so great. What you can do is get a Sharpie. Yes. Can you see on this one? Absolutely. Sharpie. I haven't even looked. Look, hide. Can you see the silver there? <laughs> nice job, Nat. Really great. <laughs> when you think about it on the tree, it's going to sit there and you're not going to no see it. No one's going to see it. It's all good. Yeah. And it's not the easiest thing to decide that you're going to put Sharpie around the top of it yes. once you put the ribbon on. You know, just say it. So maybe put do the Sharpie around the top of it and then put the ribbon on. Okay. And yeah. Get a bit of twine. And then you've just stuck your side pieces of your ribbon down with – what did you stick them down with, please, Nat? A bit of um, glue dot. Glue dot, yep, there you go. Yep. Double-sided tape that, would work too, I'm assuming. That would should be all right. Yeah, yeah, just to give it that little bit of – Yes. Old look, shall we I say? I love it. I oh, absolutely love it. And what you can do is I've got this. Paper Rose, um, Merry Christmas. Yes. And it's great because it's got for card makers. I mean, I am a card maker, but we can have the outline there, of course. Yes. The, sh the shadow, that's what they call it, the shadow. And then you've got the inner bits. But what you can do 
is die cut it out a bit of gold or even cardstock. Once, well, this is all dry. Oh, stunning. You could easily glue that down with a bit of multi matte medium. Yes. And just, and because it's not very thick, you don't want it too thick because you want to be able sure, to sure. press it down for that little time and have it stick. Absolutely. Christine Nat said these don't take very long to dry at all. So, no. No. Not at all. I mean, this is this is dry, so that's, you know, a matter of minutes. I mean, yeah. I've got it on my thing, but that's sure. because I'm, sure. you know, yeah. Dry. And Gail, Gail suggests that uh, the Krylon leafing pens would also work brilliantly. Yes, absolutely. Definitely. They will work really, really well. So this one... I said, I've got ribbon that you can sort of tie on. Yes. What I might do is put a bit of twine through it first. Uh-huh. I probably won't put my ribbon on while I'm talking to you because it can be a little bit fiddly to get it no, through. No, that's fine. That, no worries at all. Because it's quite. That's fine. Yeah, no worries at all. That's fine. But you get the gist of it. Yeah. It just looks that. beautiful. So, it's, as as Suzanne's saying, so very elegant, and that is absolutely true. That's it. That's it. As I said, you can change the look of them. Yes. By leaving it clear or filling it with other things. Yeah. Because again, this just. Um, and Lynn's just asking a question. Could you alcohol ink the top of the bauble as well? Yes. Yes. Why not? Yep. Alcohol ink everything. I say. Go for it, go for it. True. Um, I just, I had already, I mean, you could easily undo this again. Yes. Because it's just screwed on. But, and that will probably come it down. But, yeah, I just got a Sharpie pen, which I don't have one. In. Well, I don't have a gold one. That's but all right. But you can easily just colour it in. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. But the alcohol ink will work fine as well. Fantastic. It's a little bit more opaque. I just think it looks stunning, absolutely stunning, yeah. Nat. I mean, the, the gold and the pearls are quite opaque, but, um, yeah, that's what I just decided to Beautiful, use. absolutely beautiful. Thank you so much for showing that to us. That's all right. And then we've got one more here. Yes. Which I thought we'd do the same as this one. Oh, gorgeous. This colour doesn't come up. As you can see, like it started off really pale. Very true. And you can still see the white coming through just makes it have that contrast totally. in the background. So this one we have. We have the Sunset Orange, which is now gorgeous. Yeah. We have Deception, which is still the same colour, I believe. I don't think the pearls have changed. Okay. And the villainous. How cool is that name? Villainous. That's the best one, I reckon. <laughs> and we're going to use some gold, but Brilliant. we're going to use the gold. Okay. You're going. So I've got you're, another... go, you're going great. We've got another 10, 12 minutes to go, so you're doing perfectly fine, Nat. So, um, so you could put any sentiment or anything, like um, you know, this. I just picked this one because it was nice and little. You don't want to go too big because if you try no. and put cards outside of it, understand? It yes. Can... But a small little sentiment of Merry Christmas, Seasons Greetings. You know, you can really tease these things up to have sure. a nice little Christmas present. And, you know? Uh, Nat, the question was just asked, do you have these baubles in the store to purchase, please? Yes. They yes. are $4.50 for the pack of two. Um, I can't remember whether I've said it, but Leslie is currently in the shop right now. Yes, you can give her a buzz on 97984122 and she will help you with whatever. There you go. There you go, Helen. You can get your baubles from Little Bits and um, Leslie's in the store waiting for your order. Yep. Oh, Leslie's online too, so call her. Yeah. Call this number now. Call now for your baubles. <laughs> call now and we'll throw in a... Free steak knives. No, I better not. Oh, no, don't sure. start that. You'll get in big trouble there, Miss Nat. <laughs> I'll get in trouble. What's new, mate? What's new? What's you new, know? Nat? What's new with you and I? Exactly. 
just have fun. Get so once trouble. again, you've just put a couple of dots of the ink on and then a little bit of the blending solution and you've started um, daubing away. So brilliant, patting away or whatever you want to call it. Um, because it's the different, you know, like it has a totally different effect. So if I yes. had darker colours, that would be, you know, that would stand out quite a bit more. Yeah. Oh, that's looking fabulous. You just keep going because the blending solution moves it around. Sure. It's, it's like, you know, that little baby that you have when they're, you know, two, three years old and you put them down somewhere and they're never there again. <laughs> I love it. You turn your head and they're gone. They disappear. They run off somewhere else. Helen, yes, you should go online. You should go and look at all the goodies Leslie has. I told you, I've told everybody for the last two days, I'm the best enabler in the world. <laughs> and considering this crazy year we're having, go and spend, go and buy, be happy. Crafting's been our sanity through this whole time, so go for it. That's it. So there's a, a couple of us that have made some projects for us, for Leslie. Wonderful. And... Um, we post them onto her Facebook page, yes. which is just little bits. Wonderful, yeah. Facebook page. Uh, she's got Instagram, which is little bit cards. Whoops. And I'm sure Michelle will have all that linked as well on the picture to page website. Yes. So when the colours start to get a bit light a bit more on there you go i should did i i need to tell you which colors that i used for the other ones i think maybe you could pop them in the comments later i'm not if that's all right sure and people can look at your facebook page and check it out and always ring the store for anything that they might want or any other goodies they might be searching for i'm sure leslie yep. or whoever answers the phone will be able to help and there's always something to discover in our little nooks for and crannies. Sure, and for hopefully. sure. And hopefully we can all come and visit in person again soon. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Hopefully we can um, come and have some, do some classes and have a bit of yes, fun. Yes, yes. And find treasures. I always say every time I go to Little Bits, I oh, find treasures. God. Treasures I didn't even know I was looking for or that I needed. And what I've always said with with um, this industry and, and, you know, I mean, I mostly have deal with little bits, yes. but it's another little family. Absolutely. You know, I've got ladies that come in and especially when I worked on Saturdays, um, you know, if you're having a, a, you've had a bad week or something and they sort of look at you and it's like, you all right? Yeah. Yes. You all right? Yeah. <laughs> By the time they ask the third time, are you all right? You're in tears or something. Just, yes. You know. And I think that's what's, that's what's been, you know, important always, that we are a crafting community. We have helped and loved and supported each other, especially this year more than anyone, any other year. So, And Little Bits has very much sent out like our newsletters saying, you know, if you need anything, if you, even if it's just to sit and have a, a chat or something for like sure, that for sure more than happy to absolutely so we just had another question from joanne please nat do you use sure. glue to keep the bauble halves together or do they just just lock in and then they just stay you don't need to glue it glue them together this is screwed on okay so it just holds them together sure so no you don't need to glue it joanne nope wonderful you're doing great, Me, Nat. You're doing great. We've got about five minutes to go, just letting you know. Awesome. So you just keep going until... till you don't want to go anymore. Yeah. Then you can add a bit more of one other colour because you can see this is already so different. Absolutely. And you've used the same colours, you said, so... Exactly the same colours. You'll never get two Christmas baubles that are the same, even if, yeah. And that's the magic. That. That's the magic. And that, do you do anything to seal this after you're done? Tamara's asking, please. No. No. There you go. No. Because they're going on the Christmas tree. Yes. Um, they're alcohol 
based. So even if you were to box these up to send them to someone, um, you know, if they got a bit wet or something, it's not really going to cause too much uh-huh. grief. Okay, great. I did play around with it once to see what would happen if I did a spray adhesive, like not a spray adhesive, yes. but a spray fixative. Yes. Interesting enough, it, it gave it a totally, it moved it mm-hmm. sort of thing. There and you it, go. It gave it a t- complete different texture. Yeah. But I don't believe you need to. Sure. Elizabeth, the paint that Natalie used was white acrylic paint, but you can also use gesso for inside the bauble. Yes. Yeah. And so Bodhi's asking if you, instead of pouncing, you could also swipe or swirl for a different effect. And absolutely you could. And you could start with swiping it all on and then you could come back in to give it some different textures by pouncing. You can combine it all up. Absolutely. It Absolutely. That's fabulous. Absolutely fabulous, Natalie. Thank you so much. That's all right. So these ones, this one was um, the Envy, the Pearl Envy. Yes. Pearl, we're going to say Celestial. Yes. I've got it. Pearl Splendor. And then the Onyx Glitter. Okay. For that one. And Nat, will you go back in and just pop all those colours into the comments when you have a moment after our session? Absolutely. Brilliant. So I'm just going to give you a moment to swap your camera around and I'll come back and chat to you. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Wasn't that fantastic, everybody watching? The amount of things you can do with the alcohol inks and each one was so distinctive, so elegant. No two baubles are ever going to be the same and it's just going to be fantastic. So um, I know Little Bits don't have an online store, but you can check their Facebook page. You can ring the store. Leslie's waiting there for your call and I'm sure they will help you with anything. So I think Nat's ready for us to have a chat. So I'm just going to go back to her. That was brilliant, Nat. Thank you so much. It was really great. (laughs) It was so exciting. It's, Did your hands good. get dirty? A little bit of gold, a little bit of gold on the fingertips. Oh, you know? I love it. It's all good. It looks beautiful. What can you say? Wonderful. So now can you just share once again how people can get in touch with Little Bits or where they can find the products or find out more about your incredible store, please? So Little Bits is in um, Cheltenham Road in Keysborough. Facebook page is under Little Bits. The um, Instagram is Little Bits Cards. You can find us under that. And on a website is www.littlebits.com.au. That's fantastic. And phone number, phone number, ring. It's all listed on the web page. So it's 97984122. For anybody who needs to call so and i'm sure the lovely ladies they will help you well nat thank you it's been an absolute treat to hang out with you today we got through it we did good i think and your projects are just beautiful thank you so much to little bits and to leslie and the whole team for being part of this show and we look forward to catching you again so i'll say thank bye you. for now see you soon bye Wasn't that wonderful? So please go and check their Facebook page and Instagram and remember to call the store. All the links are on the Picture to Page website. So please go and check it out. I'm Wendy Stewart. It has been my absolute pleasure to bring you this session and I will see you again soon.